have today, Mr. Hakim. How do you say your name properly? Hakim. Hakim. Okay. Yes. And uh, I want to hear your story. Well, I grew up in southern part of Sweden in Småland. My uh, parents were working in uh, industry and in uh, on a farm. So from there, I have been uh, studying in, first in in. Uh, Small and in my uh, where, where I grew up, and then in in Stockholm I got to the uh, journalist uh, high school, and uh, then I was uh, I also studied some Russian in the military service, <laughs> and um, I was very from this very early I started to work in uh, political organizations in the, the Center Party Youth League. And uh, then we worked very much um, in different uh, subjects. Uh, for example, we, we were very active in demonstrating against the U.S. war in Vietnam, and then uh, we started to work very much against uh, nuclear power. When it was uh, from 1973, was uh, a big discussion in Sweden, and we take a stand against nuclear power and, uh, for renewable energy already at that time and it's uh, still very actu uh, actual uh, today but uh, after uh, I, I, I was to university and studied history and uh, then I, I um, started to work as a journalist in the center party youth league and uh, after I uh, some time there, I, I was um, going to work in um, in a broader organization with the European Youth Cooperation. It was in the 1970s mm -hmm. and, and in the beginning of 1980s. So um, uh, we, we were traveling around in all Europe and had co uh, conferences uh, in Hungary. <laughs> very often at the Balaton Lake and it, uh, I think that was very important for, for what happened some years later when uh, the Iron Curtain fell and um, we also had much contact with the youth organizations in different countries and we were also many times in the Soviet Union and especially in Poland we had many contacts at that time. Uh, and that was from the Center Party Youth League uh, and the countryside youth organizations in Poland. And after the, some year, after 89, 90, they uh, participated in the World Land Island Curtain Fund. Uh, at that time, I also had married to my wife, Maria. and. Um, she moved also to Stockholm at that time, and uh, after uh, I, I was back in the Center Party Youth League for some years, and, and then in, um, in 1986 we moved to North to uh, uh, to, to uh, Hudiksvall, where I was uh, editor in chief in, in one of, of the newspapers. And uh, two years later, uh, we moved here to Jämtland because my wife Maria is from here, and I got the job and in the Östersund Posten in this uh, town. And uh, there I was working for 14 years. But I was um, f um, free for some months during the referendum about the Swedish membership of the European Union. I was against that and I was work, working very hard at that time. In, 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 but a little majority decided that we should be a part of the European Union. But from that time I was working very much with the cooperation with Norway especially because I, I, I was... They, do, they didn't uh, get members of, of the Union, but uh, I thought it was very important that we should have the Nordic cooperation anyhow. So th that has been one of the main things that uh, I have been working with since then. And um, 
In 2002, I was elected to the uh, Swedish Parliament, Riksdag. So I was there for four years, and it was very interesting. And I had could have continued for some more time, but in 2006, I was um, another man took my place <laughs> from the Centre Party, and. Uh, after that, I've been working with in investigations and uh, different things up till I now do what I want because I'm a, uh, a pensioner. Oh. So, that's a very short my history up till now.